equilibrium in the sense that demand equals supply if you take into account of inventories, I think we have to wait a while and probably up to two years. You know? Because what you, what you see right now are the things everybody knows. We had one quarter where demand growth was a bit higher than supply growth, but we have an inventory overhang which is massive by all proportions. 300 million barrels. If you translate that, you would have to have an excess of 500,000 barrels per day for more than 1.1 1 1 and a half years to work through that. Or if the excess is 400,000 barrels a day, it takes you more than two years to work through that. And on top of that, we have, of course, the big unknown, the biggest question of all, which is how would U.S. shale respond if prices were to increase? And I hold it with those, I'm in the camp of those who would say this situation in the U.S. imposes a ceiling on potential rises of the oil price because costs have come down so massively, so physical production could increase, and because of the possibility of engaging in another round of hedging, which would take, you know, the production, which leaves production in the market no matter what the price for another year. Two years until we see a meaningful equilibrium. That's probably one of the most bearish forecasts uh, I've heard because I've heard a lot of uh, information suggesting it's going to be towards the end of this year, early next year, according to the IEA, mid to late 2017. Does all this imply that prices need to be lower for longer? Yes, probably. We are seeing an adjustment right now. And my emphasis is on equilibrium. Not, I'm not sure what a meaningful equilibrium is, but what people do is they look only at the flows, demand and supply. And this huge stock overhang oftentimes doesn't figure in these discussions. So my answer was based on meaningful meaning that we will come back in the historical range of inventory holdings and that will take some time.